Hello and welcome to the show. I'm Webmaster Paul and this is Freshwater Diver One. How did I get here folks? What a view! So, driving down the A592 from Pooley Bridge to Glen Ridding, you pass Lyles Tower and Air Force with its dramatic and beautiful waterfalls on your right. Both are also dive locations, but drive past. You will quickly see a road on the right, the A5091. Drive onto it and you'll start a steep climb, which for divers is classed as a high altitude road. So this is a no-go if you have dived already. Two car parks up here for walkers and they were full. So I had to film from what is called Park Brow, which is dangerous. I had two close calls with the farming vehicles while filming. The road is narrow, so avoid parking here, please. A warm welcome to the Glen Ridding area, folks. Plenty of places to eat, drink and sleep but not too many campsites. You'll see one in the video shortly. For hikers, walkers and campers, you're going to have a real adventure here. The mighty Kirkstone Pass beckons with great views at the top and a friendly ancient pub there too. Or you can plan a hike along a more level terrain past Silver Point, which is along Oldswater, onto Howtown Pier, where you can catch a ferry from there to wherever on the lake. Um, strictly speaking, that's <laughs> either Pooley Bridge or Glen Ridding. Uh, there's only the three places or the, you know, um, you're at Howtown, so you've either got Glen Ridding or Pooley Bridge. But at Howtown, yeah, great walking around there. You've got the horseshoe and there's a cave, um, if you can find it, and an old church. I've been there and done that one too. Take plenty of water if doing Kirkstone Pass, if it's a summertime hike that you're doing, or you'll drink that house dry up there. <laughs> okay, so a little warning there. You don't want to hit too much beer. Um, although, whichever way you go from there, it's pretty much downhill. <laughs> okay. For canoeists, kayakers, and paddle boarders, uh, considering dipping the paddles in Ull's water, you've just found paradise. Keep watching, folks. This is the top area, uh, especially for paddle boards at least. So, keep on watching. Of the three piers that the Ullswater Navigation Company own and operate out of, this is the largest. Divers must ask permission from them first. It's an insurance company issue here, not the ferry company's fault. The company has always been really good to us and always let us dive but recent changes in insurance policies have led to this to help you be successful fingers crossed here please explain that you plan to go in at night if they are in season or dive during the winter time when the services are closed except for special occasions
From the Glenridding Hotel Bay and down into this final bay in Oldswater's southern end where the Glenridding Pier is situated, there are lots of items of interest down below. You just have to find them. In Glenridding Bay, there is a boathouse to the left of the hotel. And in this film, you can see a rocky outcrop, which is also another good dive site to 20 meters, if I recall correctly, on a rock face. However, coming towards the Glen Reading Beck, there are jetties. You then have the Glen Reading Beck itself, which is seen in this video once again, and as you'll see, splays out. It's full of pebbles. And this continues underwater. So take your time around this area. See what you can find here. Watch carefully for any rare bullhead fish amongst the rocks. So have a video cam running. These are similar to blennies you find in the sea. If you see one, you've been very lucky. I've only ever seen one in 20 years and that was in Windermere. It was only while doing this film, I spotted some in the shallows amongst the rocks. Unfortunately, I'd scared them off. Uh, video wasn't running. I came back, but they weren't there, so we've missed them. For those who are stressed out with this lockdown, I took some time out to create a short and simple nature clip after the music credits scroll up. You're looking over to Blowick Bay's shoreline no music, just the sights and sounds of nature during this China virus lockdown. Thank you. This is Webmaster Paul from Freshwater Diver One on YouTube. Thank you for your likes, subscribes and shares. Those are very much appreciated. You're welcome to leave your comments below. We love reading them. Thank you.
Hope you enjoyed that one. Till next time, thank you.